Okay, so tonight I'm not going to be talking down, but I'm going to be talking to a very specific group of people that actually accumulates to the majority of our population. Okay, of course I'm talking about the employee. If you are an employee, I urge you to continue watching this video because I'm going to be explaining to you a very specific perspective, a very specific angle that these internet gurus and basically a lot of internet videos do not talk about. Okay, I want to help you realize something. If you have continued to be an employee, I want to help you realize something. Again, this video is not to talk down to you. Actually, in retrospect, I'm going to start by actually complimenting you. If you are an employee, kudos to you. I cannot, I personally cannot do what you do. I tried it at a very young age, you know, the, the every single day, the night. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I cannot wake up every single morning hop into traffic with the rest of the world just to go fulfill my boss's dream in exchange for all of my time for a little bit of money then go back home into traffic go back home into traffic and i'm paying for the gas I, like I, I just can't do then do that five sometimes six days a week begging for my long day weekend I, I can't do it i can't do it however kudos to the people who consistently do that and like not shoot themselves in the head and they just have dream thoughts but they never even like go into that corner kudos now i'm gonna say a term that you've definitely heard before and i've already said it in this video when you're an employee you are essentially just helping your boss's dream become a reality that's it that is as simple as it gets okay that's not what this video is talking about today this video is talking about the other side of that coin the internet doesn't talk about it, okay? Here it is. Here's the other side of that coin. If you are an employee, nobody can help you. I'm going to say that again. If you are an employee, if you have an employee mindset, nobody in on this earth can help you. I cannot help you improve. You can't even help you improve. And your family can't even help you improve or your friends. Let me explain what I mean by that. If you're an employee, think about your employment job. If you're not an employee, think about an employment job. A typical situation, your everyday life. Now, I want you to imagine that you tell every single person you know exactly what it is you do. Imagine you told a thousand people. Imagine you told your social media what you do. You told every single family member. You, you, walked, you took a walk and you told a hundred people exactly what it is you do. How many of those people can help you? How many of those people can give you a client, a customer? They can't because you're at a job. You are employed. You have fixed work every single day. Okay, you have a fixed job and that job very much has very little wiggle room, very little creativity. Hustling does not convert to more money. Telling the world exactly what you do does not convert to more clients or nobody can help you do you understand what i'm trying to say now the other side of that is just okay so for example if i tell a thousand people exactly what it is i do i am a wedding dj i'm a corporate event dj i i'm a club dj I, i'm a house music producer i run a house music community we have a party every single month what did i just do i just told you and a thousand other people exactly what it is i do now if those five things that I just said, if somebody is like, oh, my sister's getting married next year, maybe she needs a DJ. You know what? You know who I'm talking to right now? The employees. They're like, my job has a Christmas party in December and we don't have a DJ. You see my point? Do you see what I'm trying to say? I can help myself just by telling everybody exactly what it is I do. And then as I tell everybody exactly what it is I do, they are now in the, I've put them in the position to help me. Do you get that? That is the diff. That is the main singular difference between an entrepreneur and an employee. And this specific difference, I have not seen anybody on the internet talk about. They talk about all the other benefits to, to not being an employee and all that stuff, but they do not talk about that specific thing. And I really think, I really think I'm going to convert one person right now today to move from an employee mindset into taking a gigantic leap of life. You know what? I just thought about it right now. Watch this. Watch me demonstrate exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Watch me demonstrate exactly what it means to bet on yourself and how far it can go. Okay, you already know how astronomical this next message is going to be just for myself. Ready? Watch.
Every single person watching this video right now, every single person knows a family member, a friend, a co-worker that just got engaged very recently or is getting married next year or in the year 2025. And they each and each and every single one of them is going to need a wedding DJ. And guess what? You know what wedding DJs cost on the most expensive day of your life? A hell of a lot of money. Guess what? If you call them to tell them to call me, they're going to be saving hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on their professional wedding DJ. I execute nothing but the best. I've been doing this for nine years. This is my full time job. That's what I'm saying. What did I just do for myself? What did I just do for your family members and their and your friends and your and their co whatever? That's what. And how long is this message going to last? If I take care of your sister, your brother, and all that stuff, and then I and then somebody at that wedding loves the way I do it, then they hire me too. That this very message is going to project five, ten years until I want it to stop. Do you get it? Carrying on. You are not helping yourself. The longer you stay an employee, the more you are flatlining. You're just the same, right? If you keep money in a bank account and it just grows on interest, understand something. The inflation is always more than the interest. So you're not actually making any money. You're actually losing money by parking it. And that's what you're doing with your mind, your body, and your soul as an employee. You're parking it. You've parked it. And as you park it, it just depreciates in value every single day, every single month, every single year. And at the end of it all, you're just going to get money. That's it. You're not going to build anything for yourself, for your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your kids, or your family. But you are, however, yes, you are building a dream for your current boss. And it's not so much, ha, 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 you're, you're, you're. You're fighting and you're working hard for your boss's dream. No, 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 no. Not only that is the bad news. The other additional bad news is you're doing zero for yourself. I don't know. When someone says one life, I cherish that sentence as much as I can. And I lack in truly cherishing, cherishing life. And I'm doing great. At least I believe I'm doing great for myself. But, you know, a lot of people, they look at one life and they just wasting it is, is good enough for them. And that's okay. But I'm just saying, man, like, you know, I feel like a lot of people have not pinpointed this one very specific thing for for employees. Every single day, all the time, the people around me, like I'm somebody who I constantly need to be helping somebody. I fucking love it. It's a dopamine of mine. And it's so hard for me to be around people that don't want to help themselves. And it's what I really mean is like if I cannot find a way to help them even just by talking to them, then it's like, it's, it's really their fault. They have not put themselves in a position to be helped by the world, not just me, by the world. Maybe I can't help them, right? But they've not put themselves in a position to even do so. I can't even pass them on to a friend of mine that can help them. That's the point I'm trying to say. I would love for you, if you are in my space, if you are watching me, can you please just do yourself a favor? And I'm telling you, I'm being selfish by saying this. Do yourself a favor. Put yourself in a position to be helped. As you're leading your own life, people are supporting, like helping you, not taking over your life, okay? That's not what I mean. I mean just helping your life, contributing to your life. You need to, you need to put yourself in a position of that. Here's what I mean about why that's actually being selfish for me. Because if you can help yourself, then people can help you and then you grow, right? And then if we're in the same circle, then we end up, helping each other because you understand what i'm saying it's like it's like a constant positive snowball running down a hill after a certain point and it's almost like you're gonna start to want to help me whether it's 10 years from now or 10 days from now that's what i'm trying to say i want to be involved in that i want to be in a circle just like that and that's it like i i can't keep nailing i can go 10 hours just talking about this very specific topic the bottom line is this please help yourself if you're not going to help yourself can you at least at the very least realize in this video that you are not in a position to be helped by anybody nobody right now can help you in your life not a single person could put extra money into your pocket by giving you a client giving you a friend of theirs referring you to somebody nothing 
you're just an employee. Kudos if you want to stay like that, okay? I just, I can't, so I have to talk on this. This is not talking down to you. I promise you, keep doing what you're doing. Okay, guys, yeah, so from there, I'm going to be leaving it like that. Uh, I just wanted to come on here to talk about that topic. I have so many things in my motherfucking brain, and I really, really want to dump it all to the internet in the best way possible. So there's that. Other than that, guys, as always, stay motherfucking beautiful. And let me tell you something. Keeping a job, staying an employee, and just being happy like that is... If that keeps you beautiful, then do that. But if you want to motherfucking blossom... If you're like, I don't want to be beautiful anymore. I want to fucking blossom. I highly suggest pinpointing exactly what it is your dream is and then connecting a money-making way to that dream. That is where you just blossom. Imagine a world where you are so proud of yourself that being jealous of anybody else, no matter if they are doing better than you, is just not a feeling. It's actually the only thing that could come out of it is a happy jealous where it's like, you motherfucker, you have more money than me. Where you're not going to attack him or tear that person down. But like, I got to figure out a way to make more money than you by s still doing my thing. You get it? That's it. That's what I mean by like, like a blossom. Like anyways, just stay beautiful. All right. See you soon.